there, I'm Annette Wye from Midas Accountants and today I'm going to talk to you about paying dividends through your company. Now then, this is mainly to do with small family run businesses but the principle for paying dividends is the same out of any company that has shareholders. Now a limited company is set up with shareholders of the business and they are the ones who actually own the business. Directors of the business don't actually own the business. They are just the custodians there for the shareholders. The shareholders are the ones who actually own the shares and they're the ones who own it. In small family run businesses, generally the two are the same, but it's useful just to make that point to you that directors and shareholders are different. Okay, so how are dividends paid out? Dividends are paid out of the profits that the company earns after taxation and can include profits that are still left in the company from previous years as well. If the profits are not in the company you cannot pay out your dividends, you must be aware of that. So dividends have to be paid out to shareholders in the proportion of their shareholdings. So let's just look at a quick example where we have got dad and we have got dad's wife and we have got a son. Now there are 120 shares in this company and dad is going to have 60 of the shares. Mom is going to have 42% of the shares. I'm now assuming that this is mom rather than wife and the son is going to have the remaining 18 shares in the company. Now it's useful to put that into percentage terms so naturally I've made the figures nice and easy. So dad has got 50%, his wife has got 35%, son has got 15%, which adds up to 100%. So let's say the company has made a reasonable amount of profit in the year and they are going to pay out dividends in the company. So dad decides that he would like £10,000. So dad has... £10,000. So the wife must have her dividend in the proportion of her shareholding to her husband's. So she will have £10,000 divided by 50 times by 35 which comes to £7,000. And son must have his in the same ratio. So again he will have £10,000 divided by dad's 50% times by his own 15% so he will actually have £3,000. So the company has to make sure that they have got enough profits after tax to be able to pay out 10, 7 and 3, £20,000 worth in dividends. Now dividend vouchers must be completed whenever a dividend is paid out of the company, that is important. These dividend vouchers can be provided by Midas accountants or your own advisors should have um, copies that you can use as well. Very occasionally in unusual circumstances somebody may decide that they don't actually want their dividend. It is unusual so the wife might decide that she doesn't want her £7,000 worth of shares this time round. So what she can do, she can sign a waiver to say that I don't want this share that you are going to pay me. They, they must do it in advance, they can't do it in retrospect. Again, she must sign for it and your accountant or Midas accountants will be able to give you the relevant forms and the relevant board minute to say why she has decided to waive that share. And again, it must make sure as well that the profits are there in the company to have paid her her dividend should she have decided to want it. So if there was only £15,000 worth of profits in the company, then actually she couldn't have waived this right to the £7,000 because the company couldn't have afforded it if she had wanted it. So hopefully that's helped to make things a little clearer as to how you can pay out your dividends in your company. Thank you. I'm Annette Dwyer from Midas Accountants. Mm -hmm.